All right, mates, how's it going? In today's video, chapter three of Shadows Rising by Madeline Rue. Do you like one, Sandy? Well, guess what? Let's go. Talanji stood atop the great seal and admired the view of her home. On a clear night such as this one, she could see all the way to the tops of the mountains to the west. And while she took it all in and felt a sense of pride for the achievements of her ancestors, Zicky, a servant, removed each of her ceremonial bracelets and rings one by one. With each piece removed, Talanji felt lighter, but also vulnerable. Go. I must be alone now. But my queen, your gown is stained. Later, you are dismissed, Zicky. So the young servant nodded and then left through a hidden servant's passage, and Talanji retreated towards her throne. Sometimes, when she glanced in its direction, she could still see the outline of her father, Rastakhan, sitting there. But he was gone. Dead. Murdered. By that Jaina bitch. Talanji had departed Orgrimmar before anyone could convince her to stay. And although she was happy to be home, she couldn't help but feel like leaving the summit so soon had been a bit of a mistake. If she'd remained and pressed her case, the Horde Council probably would have granted reparations for Zandalar's people. That's all she could expect from them, though. Their precious armistice meant too much to them. Justice for Rastakhan would have to be found a different way. But none of that mattered, because instead she'd left Orgrimmar with absolutely jack shit. Except fear in her heart and a black stain on her dress. Had that young red-haired troll not blundered into the assassin and spilled the cup, she'd likely be dead. One Sandy. A grey curling fog then drifted over her feet, filled the throne room, and then boof. There he was, the lower of death. Oh, ho, ho! The queen is in distress. Why don't unload your problems on your old friend Juan Samdi? I'm not in the mood for your crap. One of my own people tried to poison me. In front of the Horde Council. In broad daylight. My enemies are getting bold. I nearly had your soul then. Is that why you summoned me? Thoughts of death made you think of your old friend on the other side? How flattering, your majesty. What? No. I want to speak to my father. You are the keeper of souls. The Lord of Death. Surely you must know where his soul resides. Can you not arrange an audience? <laughs> what am I? Some servant to do whatever you bid? Think I keep your father in my back pocket? The spirit of a king is no trifle, girl. Everything is a trifle to you. Everything is a game. One Sandy's grin then faded, and he sniffed the air. You reek of death. It came close to you, didn't it? Real close. Maybe you'd be wanted to ask your father what it's like on the other side. Delangi stood up, waved a hand, and marched forward towards the balcony again. No. I will find that out on my own terms, and no time soon. I ask as a queen who needs the counsel of her elder, nothing more. Bring me the king, bring me his spirit so I might know his wisdom. I can do no such thing, girl. You don't control me, and I don't control you. Not according to my enemies. Half of Zandalar thinks I answer to you. If they keep thinking that way, I'll never keep control. No wonder that assassin came for me today. I have my father's blood, my father's crown, his lower, and now his rebels. If I can't be rid of them, my reign is as good as over. Look at you, all dooming and glooming. Who do you think protected you today? You might show a little gratitude to your saviour. You cannot take credit for one troll's clumsiness. I gave him a little shove. Just a teensy one. That assassin wanted your death, but I wouldn't give it to him. And I won't give you your father either. Unless... Unless what? Unless you'd be wanted to make a deal. Seems fair, no? I save your life. You make a deal with your pal one Sandy. Talanji then scoffed, and will you be there to give a little shove the next time, and the time after that? There is unrest in my city, and the Horde will do nothing to stop it. The fate of Zandalar is in my hands, but how can I bring prosperity and peace to people who do not trust me? My father would know what to do. He always knew. Or perhaps his lower Razan would have known even better. And then there was silence. The city and one Samdi suddenly seemed ominously quiet. She'd expected a bit of sass back from him, but instead he just stared at her. What? Nothing to say. Not a single sly word, Bon Sandy. That's not like you. Our bond is strong, little queen. But that does not make me your servant. I will not summon your father's spirit. You're on your own. And we're leaving it there! I'm actually finding it quite difficult to not subconsciously put on an accent. Maybe I should just make all the trolls Welsh or Irish or something. Make one Sandy sound like a leprechaun, I don't know. As usual, link in the description if you're interested in buying this book. Also, there's links to my Discord server and my Patreon page too. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, all of that bollocks. And all that's left to say is, thanks for watching, and see ya!